my name is Jose, and this is me vlogging 24 hours as an EMS provider. my life as an EMT 24 hours well first of all I got up late so first I'm gonna do some uh, warming up stretching then I'm gonna do uh, maybe some push-ups so that was a wide grip and I'm gonna try to do some closer grip So today is Sunday, Sunday, May the 7th, and we're out here getting it. for some shoulder press action but we ain't about to do that today we're just gonna continue with our next activity which is jogging for us Kitty, 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 yo, I think it is, bro, it's a baby kitties, next door, yo, oh, it's like a little baby cat, bro, look, it's a baby, baby, I wonder who the mom is. 15. Activity started. What I do right here is so just walk down this trail. So I start warming up, but since I'm already kind of warmed up, I'll just start running already. So I just run at a small temple, at a normal temple. I don't try to get too crazy with it because I'm not a very good runner try to get into what's called a zone two where my heart starts pumping my heart starts beating fast enough but I'm still able to maintain or speak in about 10 word sentences so now we're going off road into the little trail then you do have to be oh. careful Above when you do pick your rock, there's no vicious dogs trying to attack you. Hey, these doggies are alright, even though they're barking. The dog for new neighborhood dogs. They better be friendly neighbor dogs. They better get the fuck out the way, man. Come on now. Lap one, it's four laps around this little area that I run. By the time I finally get to two miles. So always when you go into a run, there's some uh, stages, kind of like grievance stages. First, you're like, I can do this. 
I got this. And then you start running. And you're like, dang. How long is it going to take for my body to start warming up? This is some hard shit. Then, for me, right about that one mile mark, your endorphins start kicking in. Your body starts releasing all kinds of feel-good chemicals. It makes you want to keep pushing. You keep pushing. And then, you don't want to stop. Because your body starts burning. After about 10 minutes, it starts burning that glucose and starts burning that fat. Your mitochondria loves to eat fat. Considers it clean fuel. So it just wants to continue eating. And your body wants to continue going. Or at least your brain does. Your body might be a little sore and hurting. But let's get it. So after your body starts eating the fat cells and starts producing clean energy for your body, it starts releasing what's called adenosine monophosphate, adenosine diphosphate, and triphosphate, known as ATP, which in turn gives us that good energy, bro. Let's get it. All right, guys, I'm past the one and a half mile mark. I'm drenched. And I'm gonna start slowing it down and wrap it up. I'll probably get about 1.9 miles out of this run. And I'm not the fastest runner. Well, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be faster than myself, but as long as I'm getting out here. Also, this shirt is from Rogue American Apparel. I'll leave the link down in the description box. And you can use my code, Borrego9MM, to get 10% off your next order. So, something about this run that I want to add is that I just want to encourage everybody to get out here and do some sort of physical activity almost daily, at least four to five days a week. Start with a minimum of 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Let that be your baseline. So whenever you're too busy to get out here and do a whole 45 minutes to an hour, you can at least put it in your mind to say, you know what? I just need to go out there for 20 minutes. I just need to get a quick run, some quick movement, and I'm out. And that will build up consistently. Consistency. Ugh, consistency. That will build up consistency. That will build up your routine that's personalized to yourself that actually works for you. A lot of times we try to mimic what other people do online, on YouTube, on Instagram. And sometimes it doesn't work for us because they might be at another level. They might be more advanced. They might be uh, using some other type of equipment that you don't have to your availability at your dispense. So you got to do what works for you. In this case, just coming out here into nature, into my neighborhood and using this little trail to get my run in works for me and it works really well in the morning because that way when I come back from work I have time to spend with my kids cook food do my homework or do whatever other chores that I need to do around my home so like I said pick something that works for you and stick to it so after this I'm probably just gonna go take a shower uh, I'm probably not gonna get breakfast here at home and if I would I probably eat like half a fruit which consists of like half a pineapple, half a melon, uh, some watermelon, or I'd probably make myself some oatmeal, some eggs, corn tortillas. I mean, I still do what I like, but I try to keep it as healthy as possible for the most part. And then, but today I'm not going to do that. I'll probably get some food at the cafeteria at the hospital since I'm going to work at 24 there. But right now I am going to go take a shower. I'm going to go change, get ready and drive to work. We'll continue with this, what I do, and my 24 hour shift vlog. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. So I'm off to work. Two of the things that are not cool about working out in the morning is that I always get to work late. Another thing is that when I'm taking off, I'm still like hot. Like my body's still been so yeah 
So I'm on my way to work. Two things that suck about working out in the morning is that I'm always late to work. That's one. And number two is that my body is still hot when I'm on my way to work. So as you can see, I'm freaking late, bro. I'm like almost 10 minutes late. Not cool, this is not cool. But let's get it. To work, good thing I live like five minutes away or whatever, however much this took. So my relief just walked out in front of me and I didn't get to her, sorry for being late, but it is what it is. I was going to get two of these big squares, but I didn't want to, it was the last ones left, so I didn't want to be like mean to the next person after I'm already late, right? This is going to be my breakfast. Alright, so I already uh, logged down my food intake using Fitness Pal. And it's just like a more or less, I'm not like 100% down to the last calorie strict about it, but I do stay within a, a maybe 100, 200 calorie range. And I know some of the foods are off as far as their caloric measurement. But like I said, it's just uh, more or less to keep track of how many calories are coming in and how many uh, kilo calories I'm burning in one day. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tour the ambulance because I am secondary, which means I am driving today for the most part. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the tires are okay. I'm going to check the oil. And then we're probably... Already got some breakfast and I'm sure it's messed up. Already got some breakfast. I ate the fruit and it was delicious, by the way. I was on the truck yesterday, man. Ahorita, um, we did three quarters of fuel. So we'll top it off, but I need, we need a. Ahorita, when we, after we're done, like looking over this truck, we need to take bottle, bottle three, and then half a tank. Then they will put fuel, bring it back. And then, uh, and then we'll probably, we might stay in that other one, but I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. So do I check this one or I check the other one? Um, or both of them? No, we're just going to check this one. All right. Yeah. So yeah. That was uh, my partner. He's also the supervisor here at this company. With some uh, pre-shift, initial shift instructions. As you might have heard them, it's kind of loud out here. So we'll go ahead and put fuel in both trucks. Because I don't know who didn't put fuel on the other truck. They finish using it. Go on the you So this thing is good. Fuel's almost full. We're gonna go top it off like you heard. I'll check the tires and we'll see if we get some calls today. How it goes. So right here just wanna make sure it's about at least 70 PSI. And 70. I'll check the other side. Make sure it's 70. And then I'll check the rear tires. 
make sure they are 70 as well. And 70. So that's cool, man. So a lot of what we do here as EMTs is fueling up. A lot of that dragging part. So we're going for our first call. It's a medical call. Fever. And a cough. Fever and a cough. First medical call of the day. Let's see how this goes. So our medical, medical call was pretty routine. And now we're going to be transporting. Everything's cool. So uh, it was a normal call medical call and we already restocked the meds <clears throat> but what we needed was some surgical masks so i came to get those from our inventory and i'm gonna go throw them in the unit and then probably that it's after that it's lunch time good shift so far So I got this because it looks deliciously appetizing for a snack later on. So I went to the cafeteria and all they had was chicken with some chicken. So I opted for a burger and they made it for me on the spot and it is nice and warm. I got a bunch of fries, a little cafeteria burger, got some water. Uh, it's lunchtime, we're gonna eat. Okay, right, so I'm gonna start documenting the cheeseburger that I just ate. So I think the one that I ate was about 380, 390. I'm gonna go with this one. And then I'm gonna document the fries. <clears throat> Steak fries, I think I did have a good 15 fries, so I'll double that. And actually, I'm not content with the burger. I think it was a little bit higher in caloric value. So I'm gonna look for a cheeseburger that's about 400 calories. And then I'll go back and I'll delete the one that I want to get rid of. And I have about 800 calories left. And I'll go ahead and throw in that even though I haven't ate it. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich just to so have an idea how many calories I'll have left after that peanut butter jelly sandwich by Smuckers 210 as uh, little and then usually like sometimes when I can't find it I'll just put like white bread two slices all right and then I'll put like peanut butter And I'll just um, enter the um, ingredients by themselves, and that'll give me a better accuracy. So that leaves me with about 400 calories after having that snack later on today. So I could probably fit in another small meal and I'll probably bother my wife to bring me something. So I already ate my uh, jelly sandwich, peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm drinking this liquid breath. Armless Palmer. And my partner bought me. He has his right there. And we got another call. It's a medical call. Let's see how this call goes. transporting to the hospital and the patient uh, is okay 
everything is stable. Right here, what we're doing is just restocking supplies that we used on this patient. We gave her some fluids, we gave her some Tylenol, uh, checked her vitals and stuff, put her on some O2, she was setting low. Call. So we've been at the ER uh, trying to unload our patient into a bed, but it's been a busy afternoon here and actually um, since I'm a paramedic student I got to go into one of the rooms and watch one of the MPs suture uh, right lower extremity laceration. The laceration was about 9 centimeters long. She did about, about 10 to 12 sutures. And it was pretty cool to be in there witnessing and helping out. So right now we're gonna go put a few in the truck. Again, cause my partner's leaving after half a shift. He's only doing 12 hours today. And I'll be uh, working with another partner for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna go fuel up. Probably meet my wife so she can uh, bring some lunch. So we're pulling into stripes, so we're about to fuel up. Hey, beautiful. Hi, what did you bring me? The goodness. Some no, I only have 400 calories left. But it's a good snack. Oh, wow. Just a tad, but 50%. I was supposed to be at 50. Fat intake, I ran underneath where I'm supposed to be at, and protein is about 20%. As you can see, it's uh, more or less already have it figured out for the most part. So, what we're doing here is changing out the old two. She's gonna swap it for another tank. shift begin. It's the beginning of the second half of the 24 hour shift and hopefully all goes well.
It's about 15 till midnight, and we're still out here running the calls. We just had medical calls all day. Patients have been stable for the most part, but there have been a, a lot of fevers going on today. Once you get one of the same calls, then you tend to get more and more of those calls for the rest of your shift. I don't know why. It's like always a certain type of call that you get for that shift and starts getting the recurrent. It's just weird like that. So overall, it was a really good shift. We only had about three medical calls. We posted for about two hours. Had about four hours of sleep. That's a really good shift around here. There's nights that we don't sleep all night long. I'm gonna go wash the truck and get ready for the incoming crew. It's been stocked. Showers run. Real nice and get real nice and mirror looking. Clean real nice in between the nuts. Get real nicely dried off and shine it up. So now we get a coffee and we wait for our relief. Guys, so I already done with my 24 hour shift. I hope I enjoyed the video. Getting here to my other job, a 9 to 5 job. About to start the week. Great way to start the week. Hustling, man. Subscribe, leave a comment, uh, anything. Leave a positive comment. Thanks for watching. Thank you.